What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new iOS 7 jailbreak tweet by Ryan Petrich called Flip Control Center. And what this tweet does is give you toggles at the top of your control center as you can see right here. You can swipe through them, they're on pages right there, and you can go through and toggle them on or off. So if you want to toggle on airplane mode, then you can see it just went into airplane mode right up there, and we'll toggle it back on. As well as, let's say we wanted to change up the... Uh, Bluetooth. So you'll see the little Bluetooth right up there in the right hand corner. If we tap it, it's going to disappear. So really cool tweak. There's also some options that you can change up down here. If you go into your settings and flip control center, you have active switches, suppress from lock screen, as well as switches per page. So to begin with, we'll go into active switches. And here you can actually rearrange your uh, switches right here. So if we wanted to change the settings, so you can see settings is the very first one right there. And if we moved it down to the third one, then it moves to the third right in the middle. So you can either move these around or you can actually disable them. So if you wanted to disable Wi-Fi and let's say you wanted to disable the flashlight because the flashlight is actually right down there. But the flashlight toggle isn't actually a useless tweak because in the future there's probably going to be a tweak that's going to allow you to change these applications down here to whatever you want and maybe you don't want the flashlight in there and then you can keep it up here. So obviously you can uh, disable these like I was saying so you see if we swipe back through you're not going to see any flashlight or Wi-Fi toggle. Alright so now if we go back and we go to suppress from lock screen these are actually going to gray out the toggles and make them inactive on the lock screen. So let's say you don't want to be able to access the settings from the lock screen as well as respring the device from the lock screen. So now when we go to the lock screen and pull it up you'll see that these two are grayed out so you can't open up the settings and you can't respring your device but you can still turn these on all right so let's go back to the settings and you also have switches per page so this is a really nice addition to this tweak and I really appreciate that Ryan gave us this option to change the number of switches per page so depending on how many switches you have if you're like me I kinda like to have them exactly evenly distributed I like to have all of the 16 toggles active and then I like to put it on the four switches per page that way it gives me four pages of evenly distributed ones but here is the fifth one so here's five toggles per page six which you can see right there and the last one is unpaged so you're gonna be able to swipe right through there's not gonna be any type of page separation but of course we do want to go through and see all the active switches that are available you have auto lock location services settings respring your device cellular data do not disturb rotation lock LTE VPN hotspot vibration Bluetooth airplane mode ringer Wi-Fi and flashlight so a really cool tweak for the control center and I'm sure this is just the first of many that Ryan Petrich is going to come out in the near future. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.